Hey, what's up guys? Hey, the past couple days I've been seeing several tweets about a new Android app. It's called AirDroid. It says it allows you to manage any Android device from your PC or laptop. I checked it out and it looks pretty cool to me. Um, to find this, you want to go to www.airdroid.com. Now, I want to walk through the setup process because it's a little different on this. Uh, you want to have the either the cell phone or tablet nearby that you want to manage so you can interact with it as we're going through this download process. And to begin, you can initiate the download from your PC it itself by clicking this yellow button in the middle here. Get Android 2, it's free. So we'll click this. And again, I already have this installed on my Samsung Galaxy 4. So it, the screens are going to look a little different for you for the first time. But to go over here where mine says installed, yours should say install. We'll click this. Then it brings up this screen where you can hit this drop down arrow here to select which device you want to manage. If you have multiple you know, devices on here, it will show you which what you have and you just check the one you want. Uh, then you click install. But since I already have it installed, I'm just gonna cancel. Okay, I'll close this out. And then the next thing we wanna do is you want to get on your phone after it's completely downloaded and installed on your device or you know whatever you're using and then go through the process of enabling features um, you have to sign in I believe but once all that is done then you want to click your app after it's installed and that's what I'm doing on my phone right now I've clicked it and a screen has come up it says open web browser or web address so what I'm going to do it gives you two options but I want to connect locally so I'm using that option which gives me an IP number to put in so I'm doing that right now and again this is a private IP number it may be the same for you but it may be different um, so just make sure you look on the device you're trying to manage and um, use that number and not necessarily what you see on the screen for this okay now what you see here has just come up on my phone so I'm gonna click the accept button on my cell phone and you see we're now connected okay what I want to show you first over here is this messaging tab I really like this um, you can actually send and receive text messages from your PC or laptop as if you were on your phone itself um, the best thing about this for me is I get to use my full-size keyboard I love that um, the next thing is the contacts you can add and delete contacts manage your contacts from this button but you can also initiate calls from this point on your PC so long as you have a Bluetooth or have your phone on speakerphone you can set up your calls click you know call or whatever go through your contacts I like that that's kind of useful and then over here you have your apps um, you can delete apps you can download more apps you know you just click what you want if you want to delete you know multiple apps it makes it easier to see you know because it's, it's bigger here but just click a box and delete if you want to delete them or install more apps uh, I will definitely use that now over here is the photos you can upload and download photos from here I don't know what I have on here let's okay yeah so um, you just check what you want to um, if you want to download some photos you just check them then click download or upload more from your PC to your phone um, or you know you just click this delete button if you want to delete them uh, I'll definitely use this um, over here some more of your you know you can manage your music your ringtones you know call logs and what's really cool about this too it has this camera feature you can actually access your front and rear camera of your either tablet or cell phone uh, that's kind of cool it's kind of a slow you know you get, you get a live feed from it it's a little delayed but it's really neat I, I, I it's kind of cool it has an option in here too where you can turn your flash of your phone onto what they call a I think they call it a flashlight so it just keeps your light on so if you need if you for some reason you need light you can just click it and use that over here is a summary of your phone or tablets memory you know how much you have how much you've used and another option over here for um, adding and deleting files uh, let's go through this over here on the photos you know if you want to upload some more photos on this um, it gives you this option here to click 
drag and drop in into this area and I'll just show you real quick some people don't know this but I always minimize my screen when it has an option like this and you can actually go to wherever your pictures are and just click and you want to click it drag it over and then just release your mouse and it will automatically upload from there I think that's a pretty easy way to do it um, let's see what else we have on here let's see close this down and again, over here, you have little quick launches for your messaging and, and make your calls if you want to. Um, but that's it for this video. I just want to give you a quick run through. And if you're an Android user, you might find this very useful. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope you check out my other ones. Thanks.